Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Pastor Darrell from The Quest in Galesburg. Uh, glad to have you with us again today. And um, I'm going to say right up front, I'm going to talk about something today that just might upset a few people. And I'm really sorry if it upsets you. But if it does, I want to ask you to consider why it upsets you. Um, you want to talk about it, feel free to call me, message me, whatever we can talk. Uh, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to put people down, but this is a very serious matter. I get asked all the time if I have heard the voice of God, and people reply to me when I tell them that I have. They tell me that they've never heard God's voice, and I'm going to be honest, as honest as I can ever be. That troubles me, and it troubles me greatly that you're not hearing God's voice or that anybody else is not hearing God's voice. A Christian person is not hearing God's voice. You should be hearing him. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. Uh, if you're not hearing God, here's where it gets very controversial. If you're not hearing from God, I would have to conclude you don't know him. You may know about him. You may know how to practice religion. You may know how to do all the church stuff. But if you're not hearing from God in your times of prayer, I'm not talking about an audible voice out loud speaking to you, but I'm talking about in your spirit, connecting spirit to spirit. If you're not hearing from God, Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. In John 10, 4, it says the sheep will follow him, the shepherd, because they know his voice. If you're not hearing his voice, how can you follow him? Hello, are you hearing me? If you're not hearing his voice, I'm suggesting you don't really know him. See, to me, that is one of the conclusive, infallible proofs that you are saved, that you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and it's not just a good case of religion that you have. Because as a Christian, you know his voice. And I'm just going to talk personally. When I got saved, I remember the day so clearly in 1981 when I gave my heart to the Lord. Instantly. I began to hear his voice. Instantly, I began to hear him giving me direction, giving me guidance, which way to go, what to do, and how to combat with it. You know, I had some major lifestyle changes. I was an alcoholic. I was an addict. I was a thief. I was a lot of bad, terrible things, and some changes need to be made. Just accepting Jesus does not change you. Not in those, it might change your nature, but physically, you're still bound to those things. And the Spirit of God began to lead me and direct me. That's what Jesus told his disciples, that it was the best thing. It is expedient for you that I leave. For if I leave, I will pray the Father, and he will send another comforter unto you, and he will lead you into all truth. How does he lead you? Through the Word and through speaking to you. I'm going to tell you, you need to hear his voice. And if you've not heard his voice, I'm going to suggest you go back and do your first works again. You know, it bothers me greatly. I was just talking with somebody yesterday who is, has been a Christian or claimed to have been a Christian for many, many years. And they told me, said, Pastor D, I have never heard God speak to me. And I said very coldly to them, I said, then I really doubt your salvation. I'm not doubting your heart. I know you mean well. I know you think you know it all. But if you're not hearing from God, either that or Jesus was flat out wrong. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. And if you aren't hearing his voice, you can't know his voice. So I want to suggest to you, you need to pray. You need to seek God. Repent of your sins until you begin to hear from him. Again, if you have problems with what I'm saying, let's take it up and look at the word. Not opinion to opinion. Let's look at the word of God, see what it has to say. God bless you. Come back and see me again at the quest.